Hey, this is Frank and welcome back to Travel Tips. Today we're going to be speaking about Cambodia, an amazing, amazing country. I went there for the first time about two years ago and being a professional speaker, there's one of the speakers that organizes a trip every year. There's about 15 speakers that get involved and it's to go out and help some of the poorer nations, the third world countries. And what we do, every speaker pays for their own airfares, their own hotels. They each contribute $1,500. It goes into a fund. And then we go around to orphanages. We buy sweets for the kids. We spend time with them. We play some sport. We buy toys for them. Uh, we go to a lot of different places where people are struggling. And one of the places we went in Cambodia was, if you go out into the country, people still don't have water. So for about $350, that will actually buy a well where somebody can come and get some running water where they can wash, they can drink, that kind of thing. So it was really fascinating for me going there the first time, seeing the big cities and then going out into the country where there's still a lot of poverty. Now, money, they use the Cambodian real, and it's about 4000 to the dollar and about 5000 to the pound. So again, you've got to be sitting there calculating all of this stuff. Taxis are dirt cheap. In fact, from the airport, it'll cost you about $7. It's only 20 minutes. I don't think I ever paid more than $2 for a taxi. But in fact, I spend most of my time going around on the tuk-tuks. The tuk-tuks are really cheap. They're fun. And they get you everywhere. When it comes to tipping, it's, it's not forced on you. But 10% is normally pretty good. When you think about their culture as well, it's a mixture of Buddhism, Javanese, Chinese, Thai, and the Khmer, and most of the people are Khmer over there. Food, food is really cheap. Uh, you want a really good evening meal, you'll be paying about $6 for that. And a great place to go over there is Pub Street. There's lots of great pubs, uh, lots of places to eat and drink. Shopping, great shopping as well. Go to Lucky Mall or the Tea Galleria. Tap water, always drink bottled water over there because again, being a third world country, and as I've said, we go out there and we help them to actually bring water up out of the wells. So always buy bottled water and make sure that it's sealed when you buy it. Now the one thing you have to do if you go to Cambodia is you have to see the same sunrise over Angkor Wat. I mean, Angkor Wat, one of the seven wonders of the world. So we went out there at about four o'clock in the morning and it was just amazing just watching over the water how the colors changed over Angkor Wat. As it got lighter, we started exploring. You go out there with the apes. It's a fascinating place. Uh, got some pictures with some of the, the Buddhist monks over there. But it is a place you have to go to. There's many of the seven wonders that I've seen few that I still want to see, but this one was absolutely amazing. Some do's and don'ts over there. If you're going to be taking photographs, ask for permission. So if I was going with some of the monks over there, I would ask them if I could have a photograph. Just don't take photos without them knowing or without asking because that is rude. Some weird things as well. Don't touch people on the head. They, uh, it's not appreciated, bad luck, and uh, they just don't like that. If you're eating somewhere, so we went to a lot of the orphanages and they gave us food, don't start eating before the host. Wait for the host to start eating over there. If you're going into anybody's house or anywhere you're going, always remove your shoes. Same with the two-hand business card, the same as in China or in Japan. You always receive the business card with two hands. You look at it lovingly and you put it in the pocket closest to your heart not the one in the back of your trousers closest to your butt. Also, they frown a little bit on any shows of public affection, but it is an amazing country to go and see. There's so much to see and to do there. Uh, I've only been to Siem Rip, and uh, next time I go there, I want to see a lot more. I'll actually be there in the middle of next year. We're doing another one of those tours with the speaker. It's called uh, Together We Can Save the World. So, if you get a chance, please go to Cambodia, go to Siem Reap, and of course, go and see that magnificent Angle Wat. Hey, this is Frank, and I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. There's lots and lots more to come. I've visited so many countries, so many cities, and I've got so much more to come. 
So please subscribe. Please go on and watch every one of the series. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. Also, take a look at my websites, frankfurness.com and productivitycenter.com. Also, follow me on LinkedIn, Frank Furness. Every day I come up with some great new ideas and strategies. So, hey, this is Frank. Thanks for listening.